This is Mayor Ron Anders with Auburn's Mayor with Auburn Mayor's Minutes from our December the 1st, 2020 Auburn City Council meeting. We began last night by recognizing our employees of the month and we did that through video uh, as we have done here since March of last year and we encourage you to always go back and watch those videos that are well done by our Public Affairs Department. But we recognized Ms. Caitlin Myers as our employee of the month and I'd like to read to you from a memo uh, from Art Seatman, who's the Deputy Director of Economic Development about Caitlin. Caitlin's work ethic and professionalism to carry out our mission sets a clear example to others. After just a few months of orientation and training, she is fully capable to independently run programs to, ben to benefit our young companies and interested citizens. Caitlin was hired uh, as an economic development manager to run our entrepreneurial and technology programs in support of startups and technological innovation in the city of Auburn. This is a brand new job that Caitlin is the first person to ever hold here in Auburn. And we're very proud of her efforts and her attitude each and every day. And she's done an excellent job and I'm proud for Caitlin to be the employee of the month. We also recognized a number of our employees for their terms here at Auburn, Romero Maddox with Environmental Services for five years, William Jamerson from Public Safety the Police Division for five years, John Williams, Water Resource Management Department, five years, Andrew Zutter in the Economic Development Department, 10 years, Ashley Brown from the Auburn Public Library, 15 years, and Matt Adams from Public Safety P Police Division, also 15 years. So thank them for all of their good work on behalf of us here in the city of Auburn. And we also had a special video last night where we recognized the Auburn High School girls cross country team who this year was the state champion again for the fourth year in a row. And we appreciate what an unusual sport that is. Um, the training is very intense and um, we have a great program here at Auburn High School. The boys team also finished second in the state. So we're very proud of cross country at Auburn High. But we did film a video that I encourage you to go back and watch with a proclamation recognizing the girls and thanking them for their efforts. Under City Manager's communications last night, we announced that there are two vacancies on the Board of Zoning Adjustment. These are three-year terms that begin in January the 21st of 2021. We'll be making these appointments on January the 5th, our first meeting of the new year. If you think you might be interested in the BZA, uh, please go to our website and review the um, the responsibilities of a BZA member, and if you think that's a good fit for you, then I ask you to consider fill out an application, contacting your city council representative, and let them know of your interest. Under alcohol beverage license last night, we had a couple of ownership changes, one with um, Tiger Spirits, which is located at 600 Webster Road, Suite A, and one is with the Goal Post, uh, located at 190 North Donahue Drive. Under tax abatements last night, we approved a tax abatement for Alabama Industrial Development Body. This is a new um, manufactured, new, man, new building for distribution uh, in the tech park that will be located right next to SIO2. And so this will be the primary uh, resource that SIO2 will use, the primary facility that they will use to distribute all of their vials and syringes that they'll be sending worldwide to different pharmacy companies as we continue to fight and prepare to fight the COVID-19 virus with a vaccine uh, hopefully in the near future. Uh, very excited there'll be over a hundred individuals that'll be working in this facility and SIO2 has hired up to as of the meeting last night they were over 700 employees that they have hired here in our town to uh, to build the virus uh, vials and the syringes as the world fights against COVID-19. We also extended a tax abatement for YC manufacturing that due to the pandemic they have not been able to fulfill all their um, capital improvements that they wanted to do and so we extended that for 12 months to assist them. Under contracts we approved a contract of 26 over $26,000 of Bodine's Landscape Services to provide landscaping at the Boykin Community Center. Now that most of the uh, redevelopment um, has taken place it's time to go back in and and rebuild the landscaping and so Bodine's won that contract through a bid process. We purchased uh, two expansion licenses for our Dell Data Protection Appliances, which is almost $60,000. The appliances we have here in the city, but these are the two licenses to expand our capacity. We approved a contract over $21,000 with the Northeast Alabama Law Enforcement Academy to provide training, um, law enforcement training for five of our police officers. And we're certainly excited about getting those five officers hired and trained and ready to serve you. We approved a contract of $867,000 with Goodwin Mills and Kaywood for the Environmental Services and Public Works Relocation Project. And we are taking those two departments, they're located off of Donahue Drive and moving those to a new location out off Wire Road near the Beehive intersection and Goodwin Mills and Kaywood will provide the architectural dessert services for us. 
uh, on that. And then the next item is we approved a contract to purchase property, 62.9 acres, uh, for the environmental services and the public works relocation project. Uh, we're very excited about what's going to happen here. We're going to take these two departments that have been in the center of Auburn and we're going to move them to the outskirts of our community. And we feel like this will be a better place for them to work and give them more breathing room. They're going from 10 acres to over 60 acres of space. As our community grows, their departments will continue to grow. But in its place, we'll be building and, and developing the Boykin Community Center, which we're very excited about. It will have indoor facilities for basketball and indoor sports. It will have workout facilities. On site, there'll be a new library, so a new location of Auburn City, Auburn Public Library. There'll be a heritage museum that will celebrate the history of our black African-American citizens here in Auburn. And it'll have many, a couple of different pool features, one indoor, one outdoor, one that could be used for exercise and certainly a recreational aspect of that as well. And so we're taking some old departments, some departments that had some uh, old locations and moving those out to, to a, a, a better place for them to grow to. And we're replacing that with a lot of energy and a lot of services that our citizens, that all of our citizens can use. And so uh, this will take a number of years to complete, but the first step is to get public works and environmental services moved out to wire roads. We're very excited about that. We approved a contract of $358,000. This was a budgeted item to uh, purchase two uh, international HV 607 SBA cab and chassis with Peterson route assist loaders. And this is the vehicles and the equipment that goes to all of our yards and picks up our limbs and uh, our grass and any other outdoor trash that we do not put in our trash cans. Um, this is the vehicles that picks those up. And so we've got a couple of different vehicles that have we've put a lot of money into trying to keep them operating the last couple of years. And so it was time to upgrade and the council approved that. And, uh, and then also the council approved a new Peterbilt 520 uh, auto reach 28 yard automatic side, automated side loading refuse collection body. And so this is one of our trash receptacles that you see drive up to your driveway each and every morning and pick your trash up and load it uh, into the vehicle. Um, this was $279,000. Our environmental services team has really had to work hard this year. We've had a couple of storms that, has come, that have come through our community that have created a lot of debris for them to pick up. They are working very hard. Uh, they'll be celebrated in two weeks as the company that does our um, surveys, our citizen surveys, has recognized the City of Auburn's Environmental Services Department is the number one environmental services department that they survey their citizens. So our citizens have spoken so highly of our environmental services team that this group who does citizen surveys all over the country is saying they're the best ones out there. So thank you to that group of people who work their tails off when it's cold, when it's raining, when it's sunny, when we've had wind and rain, wind and, uh, and a lot of debris. They're the ones out there cleaning up Auburn, and I appreciate all the efforts that they do each and every day uh, to make Auburn a prettier place and a better place to live. So these are a couple of pieces of equipment to help them get their work done. And then finally, last night, the City Council approved a working capital loan interest subsidy program that will be uh, handled through Troy Bank and Trust for Murr Enterprises doing business as Auburn Day School. This is a program that we've talked about many times before that was developed by our economic development team to assist small businesses as we get through these trying times that have been caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. A couple of other announcements. I'll remind everybody that this Sunday, uh, the Auburn Christmas Parade will be held at 2 o'clock in downtown Auburn. This is a project of the Downtown Merchants Association. Um, and certainly they work in conjunction with our public safety here in the city of Auburn and it's a great tradition in Auburn. But if you do want to come to the parade, which you encourage everybody to come, please make sure you're respectful of all those that are around you and wear your mask and spread out as best you can, but certainly enjoy all the excitement that is surrounding this holiday season. CCOPS organization will be recognizing one of Auburn city police officers, Officer Alex Miranda this coming Monday at the Auburn Kiwanis Club. And we're certainly proud of Officer Miranda and all of his good work and look forward to, for his recognition on Monday. And with it being the Christmas season, I encourage everybody to shop locally. Um, it's very important that we remember these small businesses that support us. So when your children are, are involved in activities, whether it's sports or projects at school 
or our schools are involved in different activities and we need people to support us. It's the businesses of Auburn that do that by and large. And so when you have an opportunity to, to shop for people this holiday season, uh, I encourage you to shop locally and support those people here that are really, really been under the gun and really struggled through the COVID-19. We've basically not missed a football season. Uh, it's been a very different time for so many people and they need our support. So please shop locally as you prepare for your Christmas plans uh, here in the next 30 days. And then finally, I just want to recognize and thank the Auburn High football team again for a great season. Uh, as we tape this this morning, they'll be preparing to play in the state championship game this evening against Thompson High School from Alabaster. But what a great season for the Tigers. Great young men on that team, great coaches, fantastic administration in our school system and at Auburn High School. And these young men have great parents. And so thank you for their success. And we certainly will be pulling for them this evening in Tuscaloosa. This is Mayor Ron Anders with the Mayor's Minutes from our December 1st, 2020 Auburn City Council meeting. Have a great week.